is up guys it's so bash welcome back we are back with some more mobile legends today i am going to do a build on the new hero cyclops this guy is pretty awesome so what i'm gonna go for is something that i've never really used on a mage which um, has something to do with their uh vampire the the basically the spell steal for uh life steal for spell and uh, I'll show you the gear for that in just a second. Uh, let's get this one wave out of the way. But the first one, uh, basically, is going to give me magic power. And it's going to give me the ability to uh, basically life steal every time I hit somebody with a magic spell. And with this guy, it's really interesting to do that with because, you know, his passive affects his abilities. So, you know you see that my first ability just came back because i used my second ability that's because of the passive so building into that every time you're hitting something with magic damage you're going to be healing yourself and there's also some other uh pieces that we can build in as well and uh one of them is right here uh here you can see part of the build so the uh concentrated energy is what we're going for first it's got that uh 25 spell vamp it's got HP on it as well, so that helps out a good bit. So once we get that item, that's going to help us pretty much sustain in a fight against other people. Uh, then we'll have to just worry about getting some mana regen. Once we have mana regen, we'll be able to sustain fairly well and uh, get some movement speed, defense, stuff like that. Uh, I kind of want to use this build for maybe a just a you know a diving build that where you can go from mid lane to possibly you know top really quick and just gank somebody and because the speed of it's ridiculous how fast this guy can catch up now, the last build i don't remember the last build that i did but it was not that great with him um he didn't really have the burst so this is going to change things a lot because i mean he is squishy so giving him some defense and some stuff like that that's going to uh pretty much give you the opportunity to stay in there and you know run people down possibly and not too too worry about taking hits because you're able to also heal yourself on the run as well and when i say heal yourself on the run i mean when you're possibly run away from someone like this use that that's going to heal you if you have the vampire uh ability from a spell vamp get him caught under here i don't have much mana and his minions are annoying that's the only problem with this build that i've seen so far i've used it a couple times so far testing it to see what it does and early game you just have to watch your mana just manage your mana uh you're gonna have to auto attack pretty good bit to start with but it'll get a lot easier for one of these next items because it's going to start doing the magic damage along with the physical damage when you're attacking normal attacks so to give you a little bit of boost in damage as far as just auto attacks and uh you can save your abilities for actually fighting and you know save that mana for useful situations uh i'm gonna try to get away from this guy a little bit i don't want to stick around and uh catch a death under tower but if we can catch him at range he's got so many of them and i'm so low on mana yeah we're dead he's gonna chase oh wow that's that's really surprising figured those would have kept coming in but yeah that's the only problem with this build is you gotta kind of be just passive aggressive with it to begin with this is more for late sustained build uh and really late game i'm not really sure how it's gonna stack up against you know full builds from other current heroes that we have so there's that concentrated energy and now we'll be getting healed uh won't really too much have to worry about the sun in mid now just because of that one ability franco is messing people up really really bad all right so let's go ahead and poke at this tower a little bit take some of these guys down 
and we'll start looking at the next piece of gear that we're going to go for um let's go ahead and pick up that magic power because i need to do a little bit more damage i'm trying not to use my b ability and make it use it on his minions let's get him caught here we go so you do have a little bit of burst once you get that right there because you have that sustainability of being able to go in and not have to really worry about it let's go ahead and clear these minions up and uh yeah let's go ahead and get the attack speed which that's going to start building towards that right there which is feather of heaven that that's one of the other items that's uh, kind of helpful with this because it does give you some life still as well i want to go ahead and get him caught up before he drops his ultimate out there he goes with it let's just creep on back a little bit and watch me heal up it's really small right now because i'm not doing a lot of magic damage i haven't picked up my magic damage actually the build so it's gonna do just a little bit currently but it's going to always be healing up he's caught under tower now nice I have no mana though i do have my regen so let's drop back make sure minions aren't hitting me regen up and let's go ahead and just farm this lane the other guys aren't doing too too terrible it doesn't look like and for him, I've so far just kept the spells even. I haven't really leveled one up higher than the other. Of course, I haven't really been checking the the way each one scales currently yet. Kind of trying to avoid him a little bit. There we go. Yeah, we keep running low on mana still. It's all right. Just have to manage it. It's getting pulled into the tower a little bit. All we need is that kill on that minion. Now another interesting concept of this is, I'm not sure if it actually works. I haven't went really late game with the amount of damage and check to see if it actually fulfills what it's possibly gonna do. So having spell vamp, uh, not only just from your magic attacks but from basic attacks with this uh feather of heaven yeah that i don't know if that's going to actually heal you as well let's go ahead and use ability get some of this stuff down so here's where we're going to step up a little bit of damage you see that magic damage i'm doing now every time i hit something so this makes it a little bit more interesting you're you're able to do more just attack damage with him let's get that mana regen we definitely need him and here we go, he's dead. No, got him. All right, some armor. All right, that armor is going to be from the boots. That's why we're getting armor right there. So I've got boots coming up. That way I can move a little bit faster. So around 10 to 12, where the this, this build really starts to develop uh, and you're able to basically sustain and do a decent amount of damage and yeah you can actually start farming uh pick up on that now i can move from lane to lane really fast uh, it's nine minutes into the game and that's really a good time where you could you know it could be the turning point in the game currently right now uh and against bots you know it's not really going to be noticeable but against other players if you work together like this it could be significantly better and let's run in here see if we can't catch this alice off guard so you have a little bit of burst but not quite yet nothing uh, great so we're gonna farm up some more let's go back to this middle lane kill all this here and let's look at the next item which is going to be some mana regen and some more uh magic attack as well it's gonna help out a good bit now the magic attacks not uh, doing any damage to towers obviously it's just affects minions and other enemies 
so you're still not really efficient at taking towers down i would say um not really many mages are and there it is right there so we'll have some mana regen now which is really nice uh i'm gonna run up top they got a good amount of minions to deal with and uh, their saber coming back so i'm gonna run up top and uh, harass this alice again since we have third level ultimate if we can't catch her right on the cusp there we go two of them in it all right that was satan was okay my saber was just down there all right let's see what we can do against the saber you're really really quick and we're really finna mess them up now oh my goodness get you some that is really not bad for sustain. If I wouldn't have been able to uh, heal myself up there, I did catch it looked like one heal from that Raffaella, possibly two, but a lot of that was, see that chunk of health I get just from using that one ability? It's it's a pretty good bit. Um, let's go ahead and regen up. Let's try him with the purple buff. That's one thing I'm really, don't get too much of all right that one ability took almost half of that thing's health at level 13 so it's not too terribly bad now we'll have some uh, mana regen spells won't cost as much uh, let's creep up here see if they got sun wukong call no they don't so you know what we'll uh let's kill turtle it's gonna take a little bit See, we're not doing the magic damage to the turtle on uh, normal hits as well. That's got diminishing returns on it, so it's gonna do less and less damage every time, but that affects the cooldowns. You can almost alternate your spells back and forth to where you have them up almost at all times, one of them. All right, so some more magic damage right there. This Alice is probably fixing to be caught. Those hills are really nice. Just don't let Alice get away. Get away from Adora. She's got the probably the burst to still take me down. A lot of minions in mid. I guess I did kind of abandon it. But I mean, he's for what it is, he's fairly okay. I mean, this builds a lot different than anything I've ever really played with a mage so it's really I don't know it's it's interesting I just took that guy's kill I'm sorry Saber but he's just so quick for one he's able to get out of certain situations all right there's some magic penetration so we now should start doing a lot heavier damage if anybody has any type of uh yeah any type of magic uh defense we should go straight through it and why not let's pick up the let's picking up attack buff what could that hurt all right we're level 15 we're getting close to full build and full build with this um it's not incredible damage but you don't have to rely on the incredible amount of damage because your abilities are back so fast there is a good bit of cooldown reduction uh, in this build as well and uh We'll go over it in just a minute once we get to the end of it. Did you see how long this thing went? And Saber, gone, just like that. That's what I'm talking about. And our Saber is on the backside of towers. Uh, he's just letting minions kill towers. AI are so weird in this game. All right, let's see what kind of uh, sustainability we can have coming back into a fight after that. That was a good bit of a little beating on me. There's Sun. Oh, there's Franco. Goodbye, Franco. And look, I don't have purple buff on after through that whole fight. Yes, I just did use regen, but look at my mana. Currently at level 15, he sustains really well. It doesn't seem like his spells are overwhelmingly, you know, hurtful as far as sustaining in crazy fights like this 
which is actually nice. And those extra heals are amazing. Adorus can still burst you down pretty quick though. So let's hang back. Let's uh, see if we can't get some life off some of these minions. There's Franco and I don't want to get caught with him. Bane is uh, oh, doing what Bane does best. Still not very effective against Franco. If this guy would just drop a hill, he would be okay. But look how much life I've been recuperated just going after him. He's dead. He's dead. It's just that poke. You don't think about it. And then it just catches up with you that quick. You go in and you think you're going to kill him with this build. And wow, that is a lot of guys. Yes, I'm I'm playing very dangerous against the, probably the whole team right here. But I'm, there we go. Oh, this is really fun. You're able to kite the whole team. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, not good. I'm dead. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I knew I knew Adora had to come in at some point with that stun. That was fun. All right, let's clean up some minions and uh, let's finish this match up. We're pretty much full build. Yeah, that last item we just got up there was full build, which that last item is the Blood Wings 150 magic power and the passive that adds two HP for every one point of magic power added. Uh, so that's really nice. And these are super minions here, so you can clear them fairly, fairly quick with uh, yeah, with this build. Uh, it takes just a little bit, but for a mage, you know, it's not that bad. And Adora is at bottom, so we're gonna have to watch that. I'm gonna run up here and grab this uh, this purple buff again. So this will be a little bit easier on me. And we'll go ahead and finish this off. Uh, actually, I'll just rush mid if uh, he doesn't take care of it. Here we go. Let's just go ahead and take him out. Right up the gut, nobody pays attention, it's bots. Gotta love it. But this is the build, full build. You know, that's really fun. You can kinda, you can kinda gauge that last little bit. Oh no. All right, so this is Franco getting a hold of you. <laughs> Bob and Weeb. Can we get him in the stun? Yes, he's dead. <laughs> that is awesome. This guy is really fun. Amazing little getaway. Um, probably, you know, running Purify or something like that is going to be more obvious to this guy because if you get stunned you're probably you're probably going to be done for but the fun thing about it is he's so quick you can get in and out and do stuff like that so if you if you're the type that you know you like to play passive aggressive hang at the back of the lines and go in do some damage run out but you still want to sustain you know yourself this would be a fun build to play with. Uh, I'm gonna actually start trying this build in matchmaking and see how it does from here. Uh, but I wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, this is really the first time I've ever used lifesteal on a person that does magic damage. I know uh, some of the other ones, one of the assassins does magic damage, so I'm sure somebody's possibly used that on her, but this is completely different. It's a caster. It's really fun to play with. Uh, if you enjoy this build, if you uh, want to recommend me to do a build on Cyclops, let me know in the comments below. And also, if you enjoyed the video, leave a fat like because that does help a lot. Uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. 
I said there's the build right there uh, the particular order is up to you how you want to build it it just comes however you want if you want the uh, regen first build into it first if you want the uh, mana uh, go with the life steal first if you want movement speed first it's all in how you want to build it you could go straight out the gate for 150 magic damage that's completely up to you it's all in your play style guys but that's gonna be it for this video like I said thank you for watching as always like comment and subscribe I am so bash you guys have a nice day